Hey guys, welcome back. Um, sorry for the, the swift ending on the last video. I wasn't keeping track of the time. So, coming back over to what I was demonstrating. Then we come in and register and we type in a, <coughs> a an email that is currently in a database. It displays the email address uh, or email address already present in the database. And if we type in one that isn't, and it says email accepted. When we come to confirm the email, it will say email accepted. As we put um, on the JavaScript, and if it doesn't um, match, if the two emails don't match, then um, we just output that the emails do not match. As you can see from the last video, I have applied um, a couple more um, bits of styling to the output boxes. <coughs> I've changed the font size to 10 pixels so everything fits in on one line. And I've given it a padding at the top of 10 pixels as well. So now we need to validate the um, passwords. We've got uh, our password and our confirmed password. Okay, so with the um, checking the passwords, the concept is the same as we used for the email. Firstly, we validate um, the main password. We send over the password just typed in uh, via the AJAX function over to our register.php script and then we also um, compare the pass we compare the two passwords that have been entered so as you can see here I've also added a title which um, tells you the format of password you need in this case uh, you've got to, it's got to contain one num at least one number one uppercase and one lowercase letter. If it doesn't, then uh, it returns back that the password format is incorrect. So if we go to the register.php register page, down here on our switch statement, <coughs> I've added the case of validate pass when we're sending over the mode and the validate password uh, function up here what we're doing is we're uh, running a preg match we're checking to see if it contains um, an A to Z character of A to Z, a capitalized one um, then we're checking to make sure it's, it contains a numerical digit and then we're checking to see if it contains a lowercase letter and that our string now the string length is um, more than five characters. So, again, on the um, main pa main password uh, input text field, we've got an on change event um, named valid pa uh, validate password containing uh, the value of this input text field. And on the um, confirm password input, we've got um, on an on change event of compare password, and that contains this uh, dot value, and it also contains the js underscore password dot value. So the next bit we need to cover is the um, capture and the tick box uh, which confirms that you agree to the terms and conditions now I've set it up so when you click sign in um, it states that to continue you must agree to the terms and conditions and this is triggered by um, an on click on the uh, sign up button on click uh, we run the capture function 
and the run capture uh, run capture function is up here it first gets the four variables of email uh, confirmation email password and confirmation password it then checks uh, the js underscore reg underscore checkbox which is <coughs> the class that I've given the in, uh, the actual input checkbox and it checks for its the at checked attribute <coughs> if the attribute checked equals checked it means that the, um, the person signing up is agreeing to the terms and conditions if it's not checked then on the JS underscore TC underscore out we place in the text um, to continue you must agree to the terms and conditions and all that is is a um, span class a span tag located underneath the checkbox if it is um, checked and we click sign up it says um, please complete the form to continue so what it's doing here is it's checking um, it checks the email and if <coughs> if the email the confirmation email the password or the confirmation password if any of them equal nothing then it says it puts out text saying please complete the form to continue else if um, contents are in that box then we clear that text and in a div tag sorry a paragraph tag with an ID of capture we load the contents of a capture.php script so if I fill out the Right, my PC's decided to stop there. Um, yeah, so if I fill out the form and then click sign up, we get four coloured boxes appear. And it says, please click the red box. And if I click sign up, these boxes move about. So they're never going to be in the same place if you um, keep clicking but it always asks me to click the red box so right at, this, uh, right at the top I've um, opened PHP tags and I've run session start because we're now going to start using vari uh, session variables I've made two captures I've got one with C underscore blue, C underscore red, C underscore yellow, C underscore green. Now these are our class, uh, these are a list of our classes that we're going to apply to the captures, uh, to the so to divs inside of the capture. The capture color is, it's a list of um, the, the colors um, which uh, to do they'll be displayed so for the um, for obviously for the blue uh, obviously for the uh, C underscore blue it's going to ask you to click the blue and I'll show you how this capture works in a minute so following on from that um, we run a quick random and store the store it in a variable called random uh, rand and that random is between 0 and 3 and that's to signify each index of the um, array we then store um, in session uh, capture we store the content of the capture with that random index number in there 
So it will either be C underscore blue, C underscore red, yellow or green. And in session uh, capture color, we store a capture color, uh, one of the capture color um, array elements inside of that session. So when it, when we ask it to load up that script, this is what's contained inside of that script. Again, we start the session because we're accessing session variables. We have that array um, reproduced here with the C underscores and um, then followed by the color. We then shuffle that um, cat that array, which is what causes the um, the the, bo the coloured boxes to move about all the time when we keep clicking the sign up button. We then store each um, colour into um, a variable or each class even. Then we echo out um, inside a div tag we say please click the and then we concatenate the session capture color variable inside that that div tag which is what causes it to say please click the red box or blue box or whatever box it, um, is generated <coughs> then um, in a separate div or well, we run four separate divs after that each with an ID of capture box. Uh, it also contains an on on click event with complete uh, complete underscore reg variable. And inside that variable we put the the color class variable inside there. We then give the div its class and then close the div. And we do that four times, one for each of the colors. So, when it comes to clicking the boxes, it's asking us to click the red box. So if we click the green box, currently, all I'm getting is fail. And if I click the red box, it says it's passed. And this is what we're going to use to, to determine whether um, the capture is passed or failed. So before time runs out we'll go back over to the index page where we've got our complete reg um, function. It's a, an Ajax method. The type is post. Um, it's passing the information to the URL that our register.php script page. The mode is validate capture and with the capture of the X variable which we stored inside the on click event here. On its, on its, it's, its success we just alert the message so if we quickly come over to our register.php page on the validate capture case um, it just states if session capture equals the posts capture and that's all that's required for the um, that little capture so on, on success if we receive a message back saying passed then we will um, go through the and complete the form, complete the registration, and if it fails, we'll deny the registration to be completed. So, I'll see you in the next video.